We are here with Polly the Pollinator and Shaleen and Jasmine from the Clay Studio. Hi. Yay! Hi. <laughs> and we're very excited to be able to drop off a check for $10,000 from an anonymous donor. Yay! Yay. <laughs> and we just wanted to talk to them about how how this is going to impact the Clay Studio. So, and what's going on? So, first of all, how are you all going to use the ten thousand dollars that you just got? There's so much we could do. Um, we're a pretty big facility. We serve many artists in the area and have so many classes. And so, um, you know, there's various ways. Like, let me show you the kill room because that's one thing we can use. All right. We're hoping to make some improvements this year on our kilns, so it's kind of neat to check that stuff out. Yeah. Ooh, I've never been in here before. Oh, it's nice and warm. Yeah, it's nice and warm in here. I yeah. like it. So these are our kilns, and as you can see, there's all this work right here that hasn't been fired yet. So um, all this stuff gets processed, most of it gets processed in these two kilns right here. And as you can tell, they're getting a little old and worn down. They're actually oh. even older than the clay Ooh. studio is. Wow. So um, this year our goal in the spring is to replace these two kilns and get brand spanking new ones so we can more efficiently get this work processed for all our members, which range, the ages range from like little, little wee ones to much older adults. So um, we're excited to be a little more efficient on that with our equipment. Yeah, yeah. sounds really important in a clay studio to have kilns Very at work. Very much so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where we'd be without them. So. <laughs> cool. Well, that sounds fantastic. And um, we just want to know what's going on at the clay studio. What's new or what's happening? Well, let's see. Um, we have some new classes that will be coming up in April. We've just had a very full schedule of classes um, this winter. We have over 80 students, adult students in classes, so that's not even counting all the kids. Wow. Um, How many per class do you usually have? We usually have classes of 12 or less, so uh -huh. there are a lot of individualized attention and whatnot. That's great. Um, there's actually a class in session right now. Ooh, what do we have here? This is the all-ages kids class. Wow. So these are some pretty cool projects that they've been working on. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And Marlise is our instructor for that class. Ah. Yeah. Is it okay if we come over yeah. and say hello? It's, it's great. Great. Hi. And there's a bee that won't sting you. There's a bee. Oh, there's a bee. Polly. We're with the Missoula Community Foundation and we just dropped off a donation for this wonderful organization. Awesome. And we just wanted to see what was going on. So what are you working on here, young man? Um, a, I'm making a tree house when I grow up. So me and my, I made this for my friend because she's saving up money for it. Wow. Can making you show a tree her house. On the other side of it? Can you? Can you show her what you look? Oh. Uh-huh. Cool. Did you hand did you build that yourself? How did you do it? Um, I spun it. Did you do it with coils? On the wheel? On the we, wheel? Did, we did buddy throwing last week. Oh, wow. Because I've tried to throw before and I am terrible, so I was very, I'm very impressed with your work. <laughs> Great. That's what friends are for. That's what friends yeah, are for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks for letting us step in on your class and Absolutely. yeah Anytime. you're doing a great job over here wow yep. wonderful yeah. all right well is there anything else that you would like everyone to know about the clay studio at this point in time our 20th anniversary is this year as i mentioned the kilns were over 20 years old and the clay studio has been around for 20 years and we're doing a lot of events this year to celebrate the 20th anniversary most notably in June 16th we'll be having our anniversary party here in the studio. <laughs> and Woo! Really fun stuff going on. Yeah, let's go uh, check out our community show that we have up this week. All right, sounds great. I was here last month and I saw the cups and that was really cool. Yeah. So this month we're featuring our community members.
members, which are um, our studio artists that work in the studio and different students that take class here. Mm -hmm. We have over 40 pieces of work wow. by various artists, and um, it just kind of shows you the range of possibilities that can be um, worked on at the clay studio. So different. So you have a lot of functional works, sculptural works, um, integration of different media, various approaches, and firing methods. Ah. I know it's a hard question. It's really not fair. But do you have a personal favorite of these pieces? <laughs> that is a hard question. <laughs> what is J Jasmine's like patting the head of a personal favorite of her? Ah, favorite. let me, I'll come see. Oh, there's Polly. Right over here. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Jocelyn can talk about Yeah, what, what do you like about this piece? Um, I love the detail on the feet. I think they're it's very realistic, and I love the little wiggling toes. <laughs> and it's Darwin, and I'm a huge Darwin fan, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> I also love this piece by Lee Sterling. Oh. He built this uh, case himself, too. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Such a cool place that you can come and unlock your creativity. Yeah, for certain. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking some time to yeah, chat with us and pleasure. keep up the amazing work. Yeah, thank you. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs>